Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at creating this really cool title animation inside HitFilm Express. Um, so uh, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So let's create a new composition. So uh, let's start afresh. So let's go to file and create a new composition. And the template is going to be 1080p at 30 frames per second and then click on start compositing. And then what we have to do is um, so let's go to the settings and we'll call this main so this will be our main comp and then what we have to do is uh, we'll create a new text layer I'm going to set the width to 1920 same as the width of our composition uh, height can be 400 and then click on OK then we can select our text tool and we can type in just uh, the text that we have to type in so again I'm going to type in animation control A to select the text and then we we'll go over to the text tab and here we can align it in the center and then we can increase the font size as well and then we can also change the font to something like Arial Black you can use uh, any font that you want to use um, and then yeah that is pretty much it we have our text now if you want to align it properly in the center uh, you can just uh, again use the selection uh, the text tool and you can just uh, you know try to shrink the size of this box and we'll try to put the same padding from the top and the bottom of this text and then we can go head over to the layout tab and uh, click on this align horizontal center icon and align vertical middle icon so there we have our text in the middle and then we can just right click on this layer and click on make composite shot and we'll call this top and click on ok now in our top uh, composite shot what we have to do is we'll create a new plane layer and we'll call this mask or matte and uh, we can give it any color let's uh, give it a gray color and click on ok and what we have to do is we'll just, just um, hide this layer and then with the selection tool you can just grab this arrow and just uh, put the bottom um, edge of this shape in the right in the middle so uh, somewhere over there so let's see uh, where it is so it's at 540 you can see right here and then uh, we'll go into the effect and search for set matte effect and apply it on the text layer open up the set matte effect and set the source layer to mask and set the blend to subtract and also click on this invert checkbox uh, so that now we have only this top part of the text and then what we have to do is uh, in the media tab we'll just duplicate this top composite shot and we'll call this bottom and on this one we'll just double click on it to open it up and let's just go inside the text go inside the effects and we have the set mat and we can just uncheck this invert option now we just have the bottom part of this text now let's go back to the main uh, comp and here we have the top composite shot and now we'll drag in our bottom composite shot something like that and now all you have to do is animate it so let's just go inside the top composite shot go inside the transform and we can create a position keyframe let's move one second in time and then we can just move it up something like 60 let's do 60 and we're going to select these two keyframes, convert it to manual bezier and uh, just create a curve like this and we'll do the same thing with our bottom composite shot go to the transform we set the position, create a keyframe at the first frame of your video move to the one second in timeline I'm going to set it to negative 60 and then we're going to select these two keyframes, convert it to a manual bezier. Then we'll go into the value graph and we're going to create a curve like this. So we will have this kind of animation. All right. Then all you have to do is put some text in between. So let's just do that. Go to, uh, let's use the text tool and we'll create a rectangle box like this. And then we can type in our text. So let's do something like minimal uh, de design. Hit Control A to select this text. You won't be able to see anything because our text is too large. So let's just decrease the font size. 
and let's try to center this up and we can change the font to something like Arial and we can increase the uh, spacing in between the letters so uh, we have something like that and yeah that is our text uh, then we have to animate it as well so we want this text as you can see we have this text uh, sitting on top of our main text and let me just quickly go to the effects tab and search for fill color and apply it on the composite shots so let's just change the blend amount to 100% and let's just change the color as well I'm going to copy the fill color and apply it onto my bottom comp like that now you can see our text is sitting on top now we want this text to be visible only in this uh, area that is in between right here so to do that we will create another mask layer so let's just drag in this mask layer from our media panel into our timeline and then we can just go inside transform we can turn down the opacity so that we can see what we are doing unlink the scale and then we can just try to you know uh, scale this down something like that and let's just do something like eight percent and then we'll just have to create a scale keyframe at the first frame of our video move to one second in time this should be zero and at one second it should be at eight okay something like that and then we can select these two keyframes convert it to a manual bezier and create a similar curve like this all right so there we have it and then what we can do is let me just uh we can just increase this a bit more so let's do something like 10 all right so pretty cool we can just hide this mask layer and then again use the effects panel and then uh, search for set mat and apply it onto your new text and we'll go inside the set mat set the source layer to mask and we'll set the blend to subtract and then we'll also click on this inward checkbox now uh, the text will only be visible in this area the mask area so that's pretty much it that's how you can create this really cool text animation inside it film express and uh, if you want to you can just you know create a reverse uh, the out animation as well so let's just do that not necessary if you don't want to follow you can just um, uh, you can just leave this part but I'm just going to show you how you can just create the reverse animation or the out animation so uh, should be uh, what we have to do is basically copy this keyframe and just put it right over here at three second and our last keyframe should be zero so you know it's going back like that and then let's go inside the top composite shot we'll copy these two keyframes head over to three second in timeline control v to um control v to oh let me just see where it is right here and we're going to paste this i'm going to set this one to 60. set this one to 60 the last one should be at zero again we have the same kind of animation and then we also have to change the mask as well so let's go ahead over to the three second in time copy these two keyframes Control v to paste these and again let's just check it this is 10 percent double click on this keyframe the second last keyframe set the scale to 10 and on the last one we'll set it to zero so there we have it there is how that is how easy it is to create the our animation as well so that's pretty much it um, and I get a lot of questions uh, regarding how to put these animations or these uh, on the on video or an image so it's pretty simple you just have to go to the import I just click on that and just search for the uh, video that you want to uh use and um, it's gonna go and find one let's just use just this video and drag it in just have to put it at the bottom uh, this is one way of doing it or you can just go to the editor timeline import your clip onto the timeline 
and then just have to import your main comp on top of this and you can have this animation inside your video as well so that's pretty much it that's how we can create this animation inside hitfilm express if you have any questions do let me know in the comments below other than that if this video was helpful please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next one